So you want to be that guy. You want to be the alpha sigma male that apparently all the girls are throthing over. Well lucky for you, I'm not that guy. I am not that guy yet. So I'm going to teach you and myself how to become that guy. First, let's start off with the clothes. Ever since I started wearing this shirt, no one has been talking to me. I blend in with everyone else at parties, so I'm gonna teach you from head to toe how to dress like that guy. So this is what you should be wearing. I started wearing this bucket hat so people thought that I was cool and went to raves, but apparently they all just think that I'm a drug addict and an alcoholic. So let's just change it to a regular hat that you'll find at a surf shop or a skate shop that has like a little logo on it and that's really all you need. For accessories, you're gonna wanna keep the flame glasses and you're gonna wanna keep the braided necklace, but make sure you add some bracelets to go with the necklace because you won't be wearing this shirt anymore. For the shirt, you're gonna wanna replace the button up with just a normal t-shirt. For what you have on the shirt, you have three options. First option is to get a shirt with some really serious writing on it, like when she's sucking your nuts and you a gangster, or Roblox High School EST 2009, or that just says juicy on it. Second is a fishing shirt or something people wouldn't usually wear in public unless they need to, like if you're going fishing, then obviously you'd be wearing a fishing shirt. But wear something like a fishing shirt or a racing jacket or something that people don't wear in everyday situations. And third is anything from shirts.cool, anything, just anything there, they all look good. Like seriously, get your clothes from there. This is, this is from there, but like this doesn't count, it's a button up. With your pants, just basically wear cargo pants, board shorts, and jorts, if you have jorts. Some people don't look good in jorts, but if you are one of the lucky few like myself, then it will look good, but if you don't, you look like you're coming straight out of school, like you literally just finished period five and you're walking home from school. Socks and shoes, get rid of the J's, and just wear Crocs or Yeezy slides. If you can't afford Yeezy slides, I suggest flying to Bali and going to buy a pair from there. I got mine for $20 and they are almost the real thing. They feel really comfortable and they are really good. For the socks, just wear socks that are kind of funny but they're also not funny enough to wear all the time. So you will look more funny wearing them all the time. They're like just they just have Bart on them. They're like not funny, but they're like kind of funny because it's got Bart Simpson on it. This is the whole fit laid out on the floor. Just get something like this and it will be fine. For your hair, you're gonna want to go bald, bleach it, wait a couple months and grow it out for a while. Then once it gets to near the end of the school year for your ball, you ask the professional to get it redone and they fuck it up. So you're just blonde for some reason now. And then you dye it back to the original color and leave it like that for a bit. Then you shave under the sides so it's kind of like a mullet, but no one can see it anyway, so no one will be able to tell. Now it is at the perfect length, but since it's at the perfect length, it feels too long. So think about going bald again, but you still want to pull that really bad chick. So you have to keep your hair until either you start dating her, which if you go bald after that, she'll probably break up with you, or if she rejects you, then you can go bald anyway. And it's a win-win. This is one of the easiest ways to decide if you want to go bald, because it's not even up to you, it's up to her. It's either easily a yes or a no. So if I'm bald by the end of the year again, you know why. Skincare. I haven't personally done this one because I don't have a boyfriend and I'm not gay. But a lot of alpha males and sigma males out there are getting facials and rubbing it in to their face so it gets rid of their acne. They use the semen from their boyfriend's balls then rub it all over their face and they let it soak in for a bit like a face mask and then peel it off and it gets rid of the acne. Apparently. Like I said, apparently it helps, but I haven't tried it yet. Number six, set goals. You're gonna want some yearly goals and some monthly goals, but not weekly goals. They can be about anything. For example, my one for this year is seeing how long I can last gooning. And the monthly one for me this month has been how many beers can I drink before getting in a car and driving. Main character syndrome. This is something that you are going to need when becoming that guy. Google says, main character syndrome is a term made popular on TikTok to describe a tendency among people who describe and view themselves as the main character in their own life story. People with main character syndrome tend to be self-centered and self-absolved, making it difficult to work creatively and collaboratively with other people. So basically to achieve this, just think you're the main character and you will become the main character. Also, you have to be a dick about it. You are not allowed to let anyone think that you are not that guy. You're not that guy. Sigma males. To become a Sigma male, 
you have to get your whole personality from these masculine male TikToks and Instagram reels and just make that your whole thing. And listen to everything this bald guy has to say. But except don't actually listen to what he's saying. Just go to the gym and then do nothing else all day. Because apparently just being ripped and doing nothing else but working out is going to make you successful and rich. So you don't have to worry about anything else. Just go to the gym. Change. Change is something you should be scared of. Because if something has to change, you'll be out of your comfort zone. And that's bad. So if you're scared of change, nothing in your life will change. And your life will be exactly the same forever. It'll be like a circle going around and around, doing the same thing every single day, until eventually you die. And then have nothing else to remember because you are too afraid of change. So keep being scared of change. And the final one, get a six pack. Make sure you look up on YouTube how to get a six pack in five minutes quick. Fastest way to get a six pack. Just watch this whole video and then copy exactly what the guy does in the video and you will have a six pack and that's all you really need. Just a six pack and then your life will be better according to the Sigma TikTok and Instagram community. Now you are that guy and enjoy it while it lasts until you eventually die and no one really cared about you because all you did was listen to t Andrew Tate on TikTok and um, you just worked out and that's it. That's all you really did. You just you just work out. That's all. Why do you just do that? Maybe um, do something else like working out's good but like do other things. Don't just make your whole personality working out. Don't just work out the whole time because um, well, it may be good for your health. It's also it's also that's all the, the only thing you're doing. It can improve your mental health. But like, what's the point if you're just going to the gym, working out, going home, going to sleep, going back to the gym? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Goodbye. See you later.